Okay, so today we're talking about sort of the 20 to 50, 60 yard bunker shots. What are the best ways of playing them? Here 20 to 50, 60 yards. 20, 20 to 50, 60 yards. Sort of in that range. Okay, so all right, all right. 20, <laughs> 20 to 50 or 60 20 yards. 20 to 50, 60, 80, 100, 320. <laughs> but Driver, right. tee it up. Huh? Yeah, okay. Seriously. Seriously. How would you go about playing it and then I'm going to sort of say right. how I uh, would which, go about doing which it. Which one of those distances? To but start with, so the front one. The front flag. Yeah, so the, f the front flag, what would you do? Right, I would use a 56. Yeah. Um, I would square it up, put it in the middle of my stance. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not trying to nip it. I'm trying to take a divot that makes sure it's that ball first, yeah. then sand contact. So you're going to so get quite a bit of spin as well. like a normal pitch shot. Um, from 50 yards, uh, the fact that I'm in the sand, it doesn't really make too much difference. So yeah. Let's try and flip it off. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, <laughs> zoom in. That, that was pretty pure. Yeah, okay, so, that's how we do it. <clears throat> so for that shot, I do pretty much the same. What could but you use? I, I would, I would use, I would use a 58. Use the 56, right? Yeah. We need to re-grip these. But yeah, I know. They're seriously slippery. So, let's have a look at the longer bunker shot then. I'm going to show these guys a different way of doing it. So, what do you do for the longer bunker shot? The longer one? Yeah. Oh, so we're talking... So, you'd, you'd still go and you'd still try and nip the it. same thing. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Alright. Are you just going to change... You're going to change your club though, yeah? No, I'm not. You're going to keep the same club? Yeah. Which one are we going to? Back, uh, back right. Back right is probably about mm, 80 yards. Isn't it? Okay. And really, 80 yards. That's just a little 56. That was like a half 56. That first one. So this one's just <coughs> like a three quarter 56. Yeah. Same technique. If I can pull off another one of those worldies, that'd be well. Zoom in. No, go, go! Ah, oh, it's not focusing. Yeah. Decent shot there. It's about 70 yards, so it's about 30 foot short, but you get the idea. Right, let's have a go. I'll show you what I do. I play it a little bit differently, but... <clears throat> so for you, you're basically using the same club from whatever... Yeah. Place, yeah. I just imagine it's... You know, like, I, 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 I tend to take quite big divots from the fairways. Right, this is so I play it like I would play it from the fairway, to be honest. So I always get that ball turf or yeah, ball bunker that's what I do. For like this, this, this action. Is the, to the front one. So I the 50 it. yarder, that's what you're going to do now, right? Yeah, I'd play it like fat still. You'd what? I'd still play it like slightly fat. I'd still get some sander between the ball. I wouldn't try and catch it clean. Right, okay. And then for the longer bunker shots, I'd go up the clubs. Like So I'd take the same amount of sand every time. But if yeah. I wanted to go 20 yards, I'd use like my 58. If I wanted to go 40 yards, I'd use my pitching wedge. If I wanted to go 60 yards, I'd use my 9 iron. Taking the same amount of sand every time. How much sand? I don't know, let's see. Well, but surely I'm... you have a gauge where you want to, you know, strike it from behind the ball type thing. Probably about there, I would have thought. <coughs> we'll see. I haven't been on the chipping room for a while. Let's see, uh... Okay. Let's see what you can pull off. But I'm playing this completely square, I'm not opening it up. Yeah, pretty good. So I've taken probably about an inch and a half of sand. Then if I wanted to go further. So now we're going, that was 50 yards. So say we're going. You did say you hit your pitching wedge 40 yards, and that's how far you've hit it there. Yeah, to be fair. Okay, so the same. So 80 yards is what club? Let's get a bit of a one more again. <coughs> so to the back pin, how far is that, do you think? About 70. 80. Do you reckon that's that far? Yeah, I do. So I'm taking the same amount of sand again. About that far behind the ball, inch and a half. But yep. This time I got my pitching wedge. So that's inch and a half. And, it and then it's similar lower. swing but different club. Yeah. Oh, that looks very good. Spin. Spin. Yeah, back of the green. And then again, if you want to go about ten foot away. If you wanted to go further, say like 110 yards, using nine iron, but still taking a little bit of sand behind the ball. Yeah. So it's just easier to gauge it, isn't it, really? 
Yeah, two different styles, I guess. Or you can go all out like you and just nip it every time. If you take big divots, then I recommend my way. If you like to nip it off the fairway, then Harry's way, basically. There you go. There's two ways of gauging your long bunker shots. See, we're just helping millions of people. Millions, not millions, is it? No. Helping a few. Helping a couple thousand. people A couple people of thousand here. people. They are getting. They're getting advice. Thank you. You can do whatever you want with that advice, sir. <laughs> <laughs>